Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create user-defined schema in a database in SQL Server. We'll be using two methods using SQL Server Management Studio, Studio uh, Graphic User Interface and using T-SQL Script. Uh, keep in mind that when you create a database, there are default schemas come with the database. When you create a database, there are, uh, I will go through in a second that what default uh, schemas are there. But uh, there are certain scenarios that you would like to create your own schema and give permission to certain users user uh, of to that schema one scenario um, I would give you that let's say that um, you get a lot of um, uh, requests from from developer before making any changes or updating data in a particular table in a database so, and your database is huge so it is not viable to uh, take the backup of the entire database you would like to take the backup of that particular table so uh, after certain days after retention like eight days you keep the, that backup and you would like to automatically delete uh, uh, that uh, table uh, that you took the backup of uh, let's say everything went all right and they do not need to restore the data from that particular table so if it is it has its own backup schema you can go ahead and use backup schema and uh, create a store procedure that will search backup schema and the date of that particular table and delete those tables so that's uh, one scenario there are a lot of other scenarios that when you need uh, your user defined schema in this video you're going to learn how to create user defined schema so let's go ahead and do that Here's my SQL Server, and here's my database where I want to create user-defined schema. So you expand the database, you expand the security, and right here, number three, right here, schemas. So we're gonna go ahead and expand the schemas. These are the default schemas. Uh, DB Access Admin, back, Backup Operator, uh, DB Reader, Writer, DDL Admin, and all these schemas are default schemas when you create a database. So right here, there is no user-defined schema, so we're going to go ahead and right-click on the schema and click on New Schema. And you give your schema name. I'm going to go ahead, Backup Schema, BKS, that is my uh, schema name and when when you create a schema then you have to have an owner of that particular schema so we're gonna go ahead and select the owner of this schema let's say the Kevin Scott right here is owner of this schema keep in mind that if we add Kevin Scott as owner of this schema and we try to you delete the um, user uh, in this particular database uh, um, it's going to give us error because this user own a schema uh, you need to take the ownership before you can delete this user but you have to have a, a schema owner so uh, Kevin Scott is the schema owner of BKS that is backup script so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and as you can see that BKS schema is created you can use this schema and make it default schema for uh, a lot of other users that you're creating in your database so this is one way using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface to create user-defined schema. We're going to go ahead and delete this schema and uh, uh, create the same schema with uh, our script. So we're going to go ahead and delete this file. And this is our script. Uh, as it, you can see right here, it is uh, using sales order database and create schema. BKS is our schema and uh, uh, Tech Brothers K. Scott is the owner of that schema. So we're going to go ahead and run this script and see if it creates the B BKS schema in uh, sales order database. So we're going to go ahead and click execute. Command executed successfully. So we're going to go ahead and refresh the schemas and see right here is our BKS if you wanted to take a look go to the properties and you will see that it's the same thing that we did in um, our uh, graphic user interface uh, using SQL Server Management Studio so basically this is uh, how you create schema um, in <coughs> SQL Server database uh, user-defined schema using uh, SQL Server Management graphic user interface and T-SQL I hope this